Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. So as per your request, I am going to start new chapter that is branch accounts. Yes, it is one of the important and also easy chapter, nothing to worry. I know many people are waiting. So what is this branch accounts? You know that uh, in the present scenario, if we want to expand our business, we need to open many branches. Only head office at one place, only head office is working. But when head office is opening many branches, that business will be expanding to many places. We can grab the opportunities from many customers. If you see a simple example, Jio. So Jio is having, uh, generally you know that uh, it's having the SIM and also network is there. And also they started uh, opening the markets like uh, consumable products, uh, vegetables, this and that, every area they open geo market, geo market in the same way more, reliance more. So branches, these are all branches and also suppose if you take electronic goods also, one branch is opened in one place and another branch in an, another place. Like branches wise they are expanding their business and at the same time they need to be very careful about the performance of each and every branch, what is going on in every branch, what are the requirements of the branch, how it is running, whether it is going towards the profit or losses, like everything is to be taken care by the branch. So uh, uh, related to all these branches, taking care is by the head office, okay, head office is having the total command, but branches are working under the headship of the head office. So at this particular juncture, every head office will be maintaining separate accounts for every branch to know the performance of each and every branch. So that is why branch accounts will be opening by the head office, right? So now if you see the branch accounts, what are the objects of branch accounts? You can see, you know, uh, to know the profit or loss of each and every branch, want to know every branch whether it is going towards the profit or loss. If it is going towards the profit, then how can we enhance more profits? If it is going towards the loss, then how can we uh, recoup this into the uh, profit? Like they can have a strategic planning that is possible if they know profit or loss. In the same way to ascertain final position of a branch on a particular date. On particular date, if you want to know the position, per, position of any particular branch, branch accounts will be opening. Separate branch accounts we are going to open. Suppose so, so there is a branch in Mumbai, there is a branch in Chennai, there is a branch in Kolkata, there is a branch in Hyderabad. So all these branches we are opening separately. Each and every branch will come to know exactly at that particular juncture what is the position that also will come to know through these branch accounts. In the same way to know the cash and good, goods required of various branches. So how much cash is required and how many goods are required? So this is also will come to know through this branch account. This is related to various branches, various branches. Suppose if we have five branches, each and every branch point of view will consider that how much cash is required, how much cash is left, how many goods are required to that particular branch. Goods are sending by the head office only to this branch offices. It is almost similar to the consignment I can say. Consigner will be sending goods to the consignee na? in the same way head office is sending goods to the branch offices. So that they will come to know through this branch accounts. And in the same way to evaluate the progress, uh, progress and performance of each branch, the progress and performance of each branch will come to know. Particular position will come to know and their evaluation of the performance and everything also will come to know each and every branch wise, right? So according to that we can plan. In the same way to give concrete suggestions, concrete suggestions, useful and most required concrete suggestions we can give it to those particular branches where performance is not good or performance is going very well but still we wanted to grab the maximum rapid growth rapid profits we wanted to gain then for that purpose to give concrete suggestions for the improvement of various branches. If you are getting profit, still we want more profits, maximum hit the rod when it is hot in the same way, 
to get more profits what we can do that concrete suggestions are possible when we open separate branches in the same way to meet the requirements of all the branches what are the requirements of each and every branch that also will come to know through this branch accounts if the brand through branch accounts if we are coming to know that there is a loss why there is a loss concrete suggestions will give requirement steps we can take so that is why these are all the objectives of the branch accounts now if you see branch accounts how do they maintain the accounts there are total four methods four methods of branch accounting first method is debtor system this also we say it as a synthetic method second one is final account system and stock and debtor system this is we say it as analytical method also and the fourth one is wholesale branch method four methods are there right now today i'll give you introduction of this debtor system debtor system is a very easy method maintained by the head office head office is maintaining this debtor system in this system what happens every head office is maintaining separate branch accounts mumbai branch account hyderabad branch account chennai branch account kolkata branch account like separately how many branches are there each and every branch they'll be opening a separate system this is specially useful for the organizations <coughs> where their growth is not vast <coughs> their their uh, expansion is not much for small organizations this is much useful where transactions are less organization is small branch is also small then always it is advisable to go for this debtor system in debtor system what do we do you know simply will be opening branch account in the head office books in the books of head office will be opening the branch account what is this branch account pro forma i am going to explain right now so in the books of head office in head office books we are opening branch account easy to remember see uh, whenever we have any kind of assets all the assets debit side na but here you remember opening assets closing assets both will be there if you find opening assets that will be writing on the debit side what are the opening assets generally you will find cash right so branch cash in hand and branch stock branch debtors branch furniture etc now i have taken here only four it can be more than this also all the opening assets opening assets we are writing on the debit side and closing assets credit side here you see uh, branch cash in hand stock debtors furniture same assets closing assets will be writing on the credit side here these four 1 2 3 4 so this will write it as a these are all closing assets one entry is remember this one one entry is this opening assets closing assets second entry is same way liabilities also you'll find opening liabilities closing liabilities if you find opening liabilities this is here this is second entry remember opening liabilities closing liabilities where it is it is here okay opening liabilities closing liabilities apart from that two entries are over na opening assets closing assets one entry opening liabilities closing liabilities second entry and next entry is here goods sent to branch this is third entry remember goods sent to branch always head office is sending goods to the branch na when head office is sending goods to the branch we'll write it on the debit side goods sent to branch in consignment also we used to say goods sent on consignment debit side we used to write consignment account right in the same way goods sent to branch debit side if any returns are there we sent the goods to the branch if any returns are there that we have to deduct it less goods returned any damage so not working leakage not in a proper uh, position then will be returning that returns will be deducting like purchases uh minus purchase returns in the same way this entry you remember goods sent to branch always you will find this entry apart from this you will find another entry that is branch sorry expenses expenses paid by branch this is fourth entry remember what do you say to bank any kind of expenses 
may be cartage expenses, advertising expenses or any kind of expenses. You, if you find all the expenses are paid by the head office only, that is why we will say to bank in brackets you can say expenses paid by head office. If you find more expenses you can write one by one but entry is to bank only. This is fourth entry. Next fifth entry remember when we sell the goods means when head uh, branch office is selling the goods we will say by bank. This is fifth entry by bank. By bank means what do you write? Cash sales and cash received from debtors. Only two items we take it as credit side by bank. What are those? One is cash sales and cash received from debtors. Credit sales? No. We do not take credit sales. For credit sales, if you find any debtors and related to any kind of transaction generally we can open debtors account there we can write credit sales but in branch account we do not write credit sales ok am I clear only 5 entries one is opening uh, assets closing assets one entry second entry branch liabilities opening closing then third entry is here goods sent to branch ok if any returns are there that will be de deducting. Next fourth entry is expenses which are paid by the head office expenses. Fifth entry is by bank cash sales generally we will write cash sales and if any uh, cash received from the debtors then that also we will take here. Am I clear? So this is about branch account. Uh, in the next class we will see the problem by the way take screenshot. got an understanding about this branch accounts ok. Next class we will see the practical problems. By the way check out the playlist there are many subjects which already covered playlist or description box uh, or you can check out even the, uh, the uh, what do you say comment box also you will find sometimes links. Please follow this and do recommend this channel to many students let them take the benefit because it is free of cost. Stay tuned. I will be covering more topics, good luck, practice well.